Hello and welcome to No Budget, I'm Carl, I'm the producer. Today we're going to do a short scene and we're going to show it from all different aspects. Hi, my name is Claire, I'm the writer. I've written a one minute scene about a money exchange and a drug deal. So let's see how this scene plays out. Hi, I'm Milo Dennison. I will be directing today. We're going to be shooting a nice, simple one-minute table sequence. Hi, my name is Andrew Luzé, and I'm one of the actors for tonight's piece. I'm playing a character by the name of Dom, who's kind of an idiot. Hi, my name is Maria, and I'm doing sound. Hi, my name's Adrian Heffernan, and I'm going to be the cameraman this evening. So I've got to make Milo's vision happen. Did you get it? What? What do you think? Yeah, I got it. So it's all there? Yeah, I got five. I thought we agreed six. Look, don't panic. He said we'll get the rest next week. And you believe him? He had a fucking gun to my head. What the hell was I supposed to do? Okay, but if we don't get the money, we're in serious trouble. It'll be all right. I hope so. For both our sakes. Introducing the scene here, we lit it relatively even with just white lighting all the way around. As a director, one of the things that you need to keep in mind is the time that you have to shoot something in and the location that you have it in. So we went pretty simple. With the camera, we're starting off with a wide shot that's going to establish our sequence. Our actors behind me clearly are getting into character, as you can tell, uh, and working on that interpersonal relationship that comes across on frame. I had no choice, Marie. He had a gun to my head. All right. All right, cut. <laughs> okay, uh, cutting the sequence. Uh, did you flip a line there? Like, no, I didn't. I didn't. Okay, so I'm cutting the sequence there, and uh, I'm going to give them a little bit of direction as actors. Uh, and uh, what I really liked during that scene is I could see your reactions, your physical reactions, the frustration, uh, the, the taking the drink and all of that kind of stuff so we could see that he's tired and he's frustrated. Is maybe a little bit more of uh, when, when he hands you the money, you know, verifying it okay. or something like that as yeah. much as you can. Uh, but overall, like a really nice, good interaction between the two characters. Okay. What we're gonna do now is we've established the sequence with a wider shot, so what we wanna do is now bring it in a little bit more with moving the camera. Okay, you'll notice we brought the camera in a bit tighter here. What we're looking at now is uh, commonly referred to as a two shot or a medium wide shot. Either way it works. Uh, the important thing is that your cameraman knows what you're talking about in regards to the framing of the image. Okay, but if we don't, we're in serious trouble. It'll be all right, Marie. Okay. okay, so if you notice there what happened, the boom came into frame. Usually what happens is your director of photography, or your director of photography or camera, <laughs> usually what happens is your director of photography or camera operator will notice that and they'll uh, make somebody aware. Okay, if you notice we're tighter again, what we're doing here is an over the shoulder shot. So we're looking over Claire's shoulder into Andrew. A uh, thing that we did here is we're co what's called cheating the shot and we've actually repositioned Claire in order to get that over the shoulder because if we had moved the camera to where she was sitting, you'd see light stands back behind me here. And so from a film watcher's point of view, you, w you should not know that the shot was cheated, but it is a common trick in filmmaking to reposition people yet still make it look like the same place. Okay, now you notice that we're just seeing Claire in the shot. This is going to be a close-up shot of Claire. Now what we're doing is an extreme close-up on Claire's eyes. It's pretty rare that you would use this for some, um, you often going for more of like a dramatic effect. You see this a lot in film noir. Do you believe him? He had a fucking gun to my head, Marie. Okay. But if we don't, Okay, cut. So I'm cutting the scene there. The sound person, uh, there was some ruffling on the, the boom, so the sound person notified me of that. So I'm cutting the scene so that we can then reset it to the next shot, or that we can redo it. 
Now what we're going to do, hypothetically, we've shot the whole scene, we've shot our wide shot, we've shot our over the shoulders, we've shot everything that we need. The last thing that we want to make sure to get are overlays. And these are going to be the close-ups of the, the stuff that's happening on the table, potentially like uh, the drink being poured, the money, that type of stuff. You want to make sure that you get that sound effect as well, the money rustling, the, the water pouring into the glass, that type of stuff. Yeah, 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 there is synchronization. Yeah. Yeah, you don't really well, know. just do it. Anyway. Okay. Hello and welcome to this month's episode of No Budget. This month we're going to do a little acting tutorial. So we have Wait, great... Cut, cut. We're not doing an acting tutorial. We're... Hi, my name is Claire and I'm the writer. I'm the writer... I... I did it again? Sorry. You might better know me from documentaries like The Masturbatory Habits of Armadillos or Playing with Jelly Donuts Part 2 or... <laughs> All right, now you'll notice that we're just, now you'll notice we're just seeing Claire. Go back. We're starting to go back. Uh, 